Hi, and welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad that you are here with me today. Today, I am finally going to be talking about all of the Victoria Beckham products that I have. I have a bare face here today. Well, actually, I do have a little bit of makeup on my face. I wanted to get my face a little bit prepped here before I sat down with all of these beautiful products before me because I just wanted to save a little bit on time here because I don't want this video to be too long. So what I have on my face is obviously I did my skincare today. Victoria Beckham does have a primer, but I do not have that primer. So I primed my skin this morning with the Merit Great Skin, which I absolutely love. I don't think it's marketed as a primer, but it works as a really beautiful primer. So I use this as a primer. And then I already have a little bit of concealer on my skin and I've got the Tower 28 Serum Concealer on. My color is K-Town. I don't think I need to put any more concealer on under my eyes, but I will put a little bit more just kind of along my nose and mouth just so that you can kind of see uh, the texture of this concealer because I'm sure many of you are a little bit um, curious about it. So, and I've got my It Cosmetics brush here, which I have been loving. I think I purchased this during the Black Friday sale because they had an amazing sale. Um, and as you can see, this concealer blends in so nicely and I have been loving this brush. So I love using the smaller tip to just kind of do some initial blending and, you know, I'll just blend a little bit more under my eyes you know, this concealer blends really, really easily and smoothly under the eyes. And then I use the bigger end to just kind of buff things in. And, you know, like I said, that's all I have on my face as of right now. And then I think I will go in with a little bit of the Merit Stick Foundation. This is marketed as both a concealer and a foundation. And I do use it as both. My color is Bisque. And I just usually do a few stripes, just kind of like around my cheeks, a little bit on my forehead. Like I said, I will use it under my eyes as well, but I already have the concealer on. And like I said, I've been loving this IT Cosmetics brush for both kind of finer work. Oh, you know what? I always forget to do this. I was gonna put my hair back. <laughs> I always forget to do this step. So I'm gonna put my hair back. I know it drives people crazy when people aren't putting their hair back while they're putting makeup all over their face. So hair out of the face, and I'm just gonna go ahead and buff in this Merit foundation, which I absolutely love. I've had it pretty much since, I think since it came out. So this one that I have is pretty new. I had to replace my older one because it was getting really low and I'd had it for so long that I wanted to go ahead and replace it. So anyway, just getting things ready here to go ahead and show you all the Victoria Beckham products that I have because I don't think I mentioned, well, I did mention that Victoria Beckham does have a primer, which I don't have. That's why I'm using the Merit one today. And then I went ahead and scanned the entire Victoria Beckham website this morning before I sat down to film just to see everything that they have and they don't have any complexion products. So that's why I'm using the Merit one here today. They don't have, you know, concealer. Um, they do have a contour stick and a highlight, neither of which I have. So I'm gonna forego contour, which I don't really do anyway. And I'm also gonna forego the highlighter today just to give you guys a heads up about that. So what I'm gonna do first here is I'm going to use the bronzing brick and let me get the exact name here. This is the matte bronzing brick, which I will let you know is refillable. The packaging here pretty much on everything that Victoria Beckham Beauty has is absolutely stunning, beautiful, very elegant. This compact is very weighty, feels great in the hand and then obviously has a mirror. You'll see it has two shades here, a lighter shade and then a darker shade. The lighter shade is to warm up and even your skin tone, and then the darker shade is to sculpt and define. And I usually don't separate out the two. I just take a big fluffy brush and then just blend the two together and then just warm up my skin and just take it all over my face, you know, up into my hairline on my forehead obviously just kind of on my cheeks and nose and then on my chin. 
and I can go really liberal with this because even though this is the color that was recommended to me because I have light to medium skin and O2 is recommended for light to medium skin tones, this is pretty light on me as you will see. And you know, it is the beginning of March right now. So I've got my winter skin tone going right here. Pretty much no tan going on. I mean, it warms up my skin for sure. Uh, but it's not doing anything crazy. So I think in the height of summer, this might be a little bit too light, but right now it's doing a really lovely job of doing a subtle warming up of my skin. I think it's really, really beautiful. It's not gonna make you look like you're overdoing it. Very subtle, very pretty. And what I also like to do is use the darker color on my eyelids. I'm not gonna do that today because I wanna show you all the eye products that I have from Victoria Beckham, but both of these actually are really pretty on the eyelids as well. So that is the bronzer. I think it's really pretty. I really like it a lot. It's very on par to the Charlotte Tilbury bronzer, powder bronzer that I've had in the past, which like I said, I mentioned in a previous video, I'm not too sure what happened to that. So I'm really happy to have this. I do feel like my preference has leaned more towards cream bronzers. Like, as you guys know, I absolutely love the makeup by Mario cream bronzer. I think it's like the skin enhancer or something like that. Absolutely love that one. I love the Say Cream Bronzer. Um, I like the Westman Atelier Cream Bronzer. I mean, I just really love cream bronzers, but there are times when I do like to reach for a powder bronzer in particular. I really do like the Say Sun Visor, which is really, really dewy. It's got, I think, uh, 35 SPF. Very, very dewy. And then what I'll do is I'll put a little bit of my Jane Iredale Pure Press Base on top of that. And then on top of that, this is really lovely. So there are times where I do really like to have a powder bronzer. So this has been really, really lovely in those instances. And like I said, the packaging, you just can't beat this packaging when you're talking about just luxe, beautiful, packaging. So this has been a hit for me. So before I move on to eyes, I just turned down my ring light a little bit. I'm dealing with a really dark rainy day right now. And I feel like I had the light on just a little bit too bright. So maybe now you can see the bronzer a little bit more. I don't know if the light before was kind of blasting it out. Sorry, I keep looking at the viewfinder because I just want to make sure I've got the lighting okay. So hopefully you can see the bronzer a little bit better now. So anyway, let's go ahead and move on to eyes. I have several Victoria Beckham eye products. I'm just going to show you the signature eye palette. I'm not actually gonna put it on my eyes because I'm pretty sure I've shown this before on camera a few times before. And I mean, this is absolutely beautiful. This has been in my favorites in the past. But you know, it is, I mean, it's basic and I don't mean to say that in a negative way. It's basic, but it's beautiful. I should say it's like simple elegance, but this is the, what does she call this? This is her smoky eye brick and this is the signature one. So this is like, you know, if you want to do a smoky eye look that's very elegant, understated, I mean, you could go a little over the top if you wanted to with the darker colors over here. But for me, this is just a really beautiful, everyday, pretty smoky eye look. So if you're looking for something like that, I absolutely love this one. And again, it's in the beautiful tortoiseshell compact. And I love just how it snaps closed, just very, you know, securely. Again, can't speak highly enough about the packaging of this entire line. But let's move to a product that I haven't spoken about before. And these are the eyeshadow sticks. I have three of them. I have Oyster, Caramel, and Pecan. I'm just gonna mention Oyster first. This is a shimmery pearl, and this is the one that I use the least. So, like I said, it's a shimmery pearl, and I'll swatch it real quickly here. And if you can see that, it's kind of got more of a green cast to it, and it's just not the most flattering on me. The next one I have is Pecan, and this is a deep, rich brown. And you can see that this really is truly a deep, rich color. Again, not one that I reach for very often. And then this one is Caramel, a shimmery bronze. And I'm sure you guys can guess that this is the one that I reach for the most. It is super pretty 
and I really love how easily this one is kind of like that one and done type of eye look. So that is what I'm gonna put on my eyes right now. And actually I've kind of changed my mind. I do wanna show you more color. So I am going to do a little bit of pecan on my lid and I'm gonna do it with a very light hand because as you saw, it's a deep, rich matte brown and I'm going to do it lightly and put it all over my lid and kind of fade it out. Sort of like how I do with the Merit Solo Shadows. And I'm just gonna do like a wash of color. I've only done this a couple times and I kind of forget that I like how this looks. So we're gonna kind of do this as like the base of the eye look. So again, just sort of gently patting this down and of course you could make this look a lot deeper, a lot richer if that's what you're gonna go for. But I am just doing this as a gentle wash of color. Cause I do want you to see how flexible these colors are because here it is again in the swatch. I deepened it up and made it a little bit bigger so you can see how deep and rich that is. But then here on my eyelids, I just am doing kind of almost like a watercolor effect with just this really subtle wash in the way that I am shearing it out. So you get a idea of how flexible these are how versatile they are. I've only done this a couple of times and I'm realizing now that I need to keep this more in my rotation because this is so easy to use. I've been reaching more for the Merit solo shadows when I want to do this, but I'm realizing I need to do this more with this Victoria Beckham shadow stick. And again, this is Pecan, which I don't think is the best name for this color. I just don't think of pecan being a deep matte brown. But anyway, so this is pecan. Really, really liking how that turned out. And then I'm going to use caramel, the shimmery bronze, which again, I don't think caramel is the best name for this, uh, but I'm going to go in heavier with caramel closer into the lid. or I shouldn't say closer into the lid, closer into the lash line, that's what I mean. <laughs> I'm going on my lid with caramel, closer in to the lash line. And this is such a gorgeous color. I absolutely love it. And again, I feel like I'm getting washed out here with the light. Okay, turn down the light a little bit. And again, I'm gonna use my fingers and just smudge this out a little bit but not too much because I just really want this effect to stay pretty um, intense. So yeah, just really, really love that. I think it's really pretty. It's relatively subtle, but it does make an impact. So like I said, I use caramel very frequently. This is a big favorite of mine. This is in more of that kind of daily rotation. I don't use it as frequently as I use her Kajal eyeliners, which I'm about to reach for right now, but I do reach for uh, that caramel shadow stick very frequently. Absolutely love it. And now let's go ahead and move into the Kajal liners. I do have two of the jewel colors. I have, let's see, gold lame and sequin green and I hardly ever use La May, which is a true gold with golden sparkle. And this is what La May looks like. And gold La May is right here. Hopefully that shows up. Again, I turned off the light and you can see it really is kind of that orangey gold color that I don't typically go for. And I don't know exactly what I was expecting when I purchased this. I don't know if I saw it on somebody else, a YouTuber or on Instagram or whatever it was, but 
I don't know, it's just not a color that I reach for. But I'm gonna go ahead and show you sequin green, which is a khaki green with golden sparkle. This is definitely more of a color that I do wear more frequently. So this is green sequin. I hope I got the name correctly when I just spoke about it before. So this is gold lame. This is green sequin or sequin green. I don't know why I can't remember that name. It's sequin green. And as I said, it is khaki green with golden sparkle. And then I'm going to show you the other color that is just not my favorite. I try to make it work and let's see, where did it go? This is cocoa. This is one of the matte colors and this is a rich matte brown. And this is a lot shorter. You can see here that this is La May. This is like the full size. This is cocoa, so it is a lot shorter. So I have used it, but it is just not one that I reach for that often because it's difficult to use. And I have had this for a long time. It is so, so rich. I mean, look at that. It just is so deep and so rich. See how coordinated I can be here in trying to draw even more here. I don't know. I mean, look at that. It's just so, 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 so rich. And I just don't go for eye looks that are that deep and that rich. So I have to be really, really light handed with it and really, really careful. So I don't know. I just don't reach for cocoa that often. But for those of you who really do like very rich, deep eye looks, then you would probably absolutely love this color. And you'd probably like the matte colors in her Kajal line. But the, I think in general, the mattes are just not for me. The ones that are for me that are really truly like my Goldilocks uh, formula, I think are the shimmer. And the two that I have are cinnamon and bronze. And bronze is just my holy grail. If I could only have one eyeliner for the rest of my life, it probably would be bronze. This is a golden brown with shimmer. No, a, yeah, a golden brown with shimmer. And I will go ahead and put that, let's see, I'm gonna put this right under here. So this is bronze right here. Put a little bit more there. So yeah, this is bronze. And like I said, it is just my holy grail color. And then this is cinnamon, which is also incredibly beautiful. This is a warm shimmer brown. And I'm gonna put that right under bronze. So this is cinnamon and you can see it is a lot warmer. I don't know if it's got red in it or what it is, but sometimes cinnamon doesn't look that flattering on me. It kind of gives me that like rabbit eyes kind of look. Sometimes it's just too red. So I'm going to go ahead and use bronze today and I'm going to put that on my lower lash line. And I actually still do use a very light hand with this one. I mean, I'm barely, barely touching my waterline here. And the color payoff is immense. I mean, I can't even tell you how lightly I was touching my lower lash line here. And I mean, I don't know if you can tell, it is just such an intense color. So beautiful though. And I feel like it's just a really nice alternative to black. It gives an intensity that black gives, but it's just not quite as, I don't know, I can't explain it. It just gives a little bit more dimension. I think it's the shimmer in there. I think the olive works really well with my brown eyes and my coloring. I think the bronze kind of has a little bit of an olive tone to it that works with my coloring, but it is brown and it's on the warmer side because of the gold in it. I just, I think it's just very, very flattering on my skin tone. I do also have lid lusters that I wanna show you, but I'm gonna go ahead and finish this look that I would normally wear on a day-to-day -day basis and then I'll put the, so I'm gonna finish the look and then I'll put the lid luster on at the very end, sort of more of like a, you know, how to amp up the look for more of an evening look because these are just so beautiful and I do wanna show them to you. But let's move on to, what am I gonna do next? I think I'm gonna put on the blushes and I have two of them and these are the Cheeky Poshes, Cheeky Posh blushes. I have Fame, which is a rosy mauve, and Playground, which is a mid-tone terracotta nude. So I think I'm gonna do Playground first because this is also kind of like a bronzer type color. So this is Playground. And I'll go ahead and put that on my palm so you can see that color. 
These, and these are surprisingly sheer. I thought that just looking at these in the bullet that these would be more intense on the skin, but these are actually quite sheer. So I apply these pretty liberally and it might be kind of shocking how much I'm putting on, but these blend out surprisingly sheer. So I'm actually, I forgot my blush brush, so I'm actually gonna use my It Cosmetics fluffy side to blend these out. And yeah, you'll see they just blend in really nicely. And it's just really an effortless type of blending. It just kind of like blends itself. It's pretty amazing. And just, and I just love this brush so much. It feels so good, super soft. So it's just kind of a joy to use. Posh blushes just really blend in really nicely. I'm gonna just add a little bit more and then use my fingers so you can see that application as well, really easy to do. Uh, a little bit more on my nose here. So you can do either one if you prefer using your fingers. You could also just you know take it straight from the bullet and put it on your fingers and then apply if you prefer to do that method. Even though it's cloudy, I've got interesting light reflecting off of the clouds. So just working with what I've got here. So let's move on to Fame, which is a rosy mauve. This is a really beautiful color. And I feel like it's pretty neutral. Even though it's mauve, you would think it would be on the cool side, but it's actually a very pretty neutral mauve. I mean, I don't know. I feel like it's a pretty wearable mauve. And I'm just gonna blend this with my fingers. Again, so you can just see how easy these are to work with. And I just feel like this is so pretty. And even though I've been trying to lean into the warmer colors, I just think this color works really well. And I'm actually gonna take this off of my palm and apply it. And I just think it's really, really pretty. And I mention this pretty much every time I make a video where I talk about makeup that I have light to medium olive tone skin. And a lot of times when I work with cooler tone colors, mauve colors, I feel like my skin just kind of like eats it up and it just turns into a pinky red color. This color I feel like is staying pretty true to that neutral mauve that's in the bullet, you know? I mean, just tapping a little bit more on and lightly patting it. And it just is keeping that kind of like healthy, sort of like I just went for a run, you know, or coming in from a walk where it's sort of like brisk and windy outside. I guess that's what I'm trying to say. I don't know, I just really like it. I think this color, is very unique and very pretty. I just really like it. And I feel like it's really easy to work with because mauve colors in formulas I find can be kind of challenging. I really like the one from Say that they do, Chili. I think that one's really nice, but I think Say blushes can be hard for some people because they don't want a really hyper dewy look. I don't think these give you that really hyper dewy look at all. I think it's very natural. I think it's a very pretty skin-like finish. So for those of you who don't want that really uh, hyper dewy look that the Say liquid blushes give and you do like stick cream formulas, you might want to give these Victoria Beckham, let's see, cheeky posh blushes a look as, I don't know, I think they're really beautiful and I need to reach for them more, but I actually do reach for Playground quite a bit. I just haven't really ever talked about them that much. Fame, the rosy mauve um, that I'm talking about right now, this is relatively new and I do need to be reaching for it more. So anyway, I'll stop uh, gushing about the blushes. Let's see, what else do I need to talk about? I think I just need to move into lipstick. You all have heard me talk about the Victoria Beckham Lip Definer in O2 many, many times. Uh, I love this one so much. It's actually the only one that I have. So it's the only lip definer in her line that I can speak to. 
and I just love this so much. It's really, really versatile. Uh, they describe it as a neutral beige brown, but I think it's got a pretty decent amount of pink in it. And I'm gonna go ahead and line my lips right now, just real quickly. And as far as lip liner goes, I've just really been focusing on this area right here. And then this upper part right here. Not going too crazy along the corners of my mouth when it comes to lining. And then I have two of her posh lipsticks. I have Girl, which is a light neutral pink. And then I have Jump, which is a mid-tone cool rose. So let's show you Girl first. And this is what the packaging looks like. It's just a very beautiful streamlined tortoiseshell packaging. Again, very weighty, very elegant feeling in the hand. And this is what Girl looks like. Do a little swatch below the number two pencil. And then actually I'll just go ahead and do the same for Jump. And this is Jump. And I'll go ahead and put Girl on first since it's the lighter color. And I really love Girl. This is like just an everyday color. Could probably apply this without a mirror because it is so neutral, at least on my lips. And again, like I said, this is a light neutral pink. It's pretty beigey though. I would consider this kind of like a pinky beigey nude looks beautiful with bikini on top or with poolside on top, which I will get to in just a moment. These are the posh lip glosses. But anyway, absolutely love Girl. I wasn't too sure about it when I got it online. I wasn't too sure if I would like it, so I looked at a couple of reviews, and then when I saw it on other people, I realized it was a little bit more on the pinky side than it seemed like from looking at it online. And yeah, I just, I really, really love it. I think it's very flattering. Um, not quite as you know browny beigey as I thought it was going to be. Definitely has a little hint of pink in there to make it more wearable in terms of what my needs are from a lipstick. So yeah, absolutely love this one. I think it's very very pretty. Works very well with the number two lip definer. So taking that off, I'm going to put just a little bit more of the lip pencil back on, and now I'm going to show you Jump. This is also really pretty obviously a little bit more pinky. And again, I feel like this is just another really beautiful everyday type of color, one that I just reach for very frequently, sort of a your lips but better type of color, but just a little bit more lipsticky, I think, than Girl is. And to speak about the formula, it feels very beautiful on the lips. It's very lightweight little bit comparable to the Merit Signature, but I would say that this maybe feels a little bit more, little bit more balmy, a little bit more comfortable, I would say, on the lips. Sometimes with the Merit, I do feel like I'm really wanting to put a little bit of a balm or a lip gloss on top. Not the case at all with the Victoria Beckham lipsticks. I think these just have really got it dialed in in terms of feeling super, super nourishing on the lips. I think it's a beautiful formula. I look forward to getting more in the future, but right now I'm very, very satisfied with having these two colors in my collection. I'm really, really happy that I chose Girl and Jump. And then in terms of the posh lip glosses, I would put any one of these on top. I've got Bikini, I've got, what do I have? Poolside and Fizz. Bikini is a pinky beige. Poolside is a neutral rosy brown, and then Fizz is a cool rose. I just spoke about these quite a bit um, on my favorites from January and February, so I will link that up above. So if you just saw that video, then you heard me talk at great length about these. I absolutely love these lip glosses. They are definitely my favorite lip glosses of, I think, all times. I think they are absolutely beautiful. I think they are nourishing. They feel beautiful. They almost feel like a balm, but they provide beautiful pigmentation, but they're not over the top. They don't have a scent. They are not too sticky. 
They're just absolutely beautiful. I love using bikini on its own. I love putting it on top of lipsticks. In terms of a beautiful neutral rosy brown, you just cannot beat poolside. I think I'm gonna go ahead and put that on top of, let's see, what do I have? Again, Jump, for some reason, I just cannot remember the name Jump for this lipstick that I love so much. I'm gonna put that on top of Jump. I love the wand here. I love this doe foot. It's kind of got like this flat paddle shape that makes it really easy to kind of almost line your lips as you're applying it. It just feels so, so good on the lips. And then finally, I will mention again, Fizz. This is just such a beautiful rosy pink color. They're just amazing. I love them so much. I love the packaging. You know, it's just everything about it. It's just the perfect lip gloss as far as I'm concerned. So absolutely love the lip glosses from Victoria Beckham. So in order to complete this look, I am going to brush out my eyebrows, which is pretty much all I ever do. I don't really use product in my eyebrows, just very rarely. Sometimes I'll use a clear a gel or pomade. And then as far as mascara goes, Victoria Beckham does have a mascara, she, or she actually has two mascaras. I have used the Future Lash in the past. I think I've had two tubes of it. I really, really love it. I think it's a beautiful mascara. And I will say this entire line is very, very luxe. It's very, very expensive. I think everything that I've mentioned so far is absolutely worth it in my opinion. The mascara, you know, I don't know if it's totally worth the high price tag. I mean, I really have been loving the It Cosmetics uh, Tightline Mascara. That is kind of my favorite day-to-day -day mascara that I've been using. I do love the Manasi one as well. That one is quite expensive. It might actually be the same, if not more, than the Victoria Beckham Mascara. But, you know, I would not hesitate to get that mascara again in the future, especially if I had a discount code. You know, she does a Black Friday every year. She does spontaneous um, codes, you know, throughout the year. So I'm not saying I would never purchase her mascara again, but it's just not one that I feel like is a staple mascara for me, but it is really, really beautiful. And then she has a new one. It's a volumizing mascara. It's called the Vast Lash Mascara. I have to say, I'm pretty curious about it, but I don't have it right now. So I don't have a Victoria Beckham mascara, but I am gonna use the one from Merit. I really love this one as well. I think it does a really, really lovely job of creating that very fluttery lash that I really like. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this on. The only thing I will say is this Merit Mascara does get a little, I won't say clumpy, but it does tend to get a little, well, it, I guess it does get a little clumpy. It gets a little clumpy around the opening of the tube. So I find that like every third or fourth use, I'm needing to really clean that off very well. And then when I do, it really improves the performance of this mascara. I mean, I guess that's the case with any mascara you use, but I just find that with this mascara, I really need to do that a lot more frequently than with others. All right, so mascara is on. And again, really love this Merit Mascara. As I mentioned, it does a really nice job of just creating nice, fluttery, long lashes. It does a good job too of volumizing, but I would say sort of those like nice, fluttery lashes is what it creates. Uh, in my opinion. So this is the finished look that I would do, not necessarily on a daily basis. This is sort of a, an amped up daily look, I would say. This isn't what I'm gonna be wearing to the grocery store on a daily basis, but kind of on a special occasion, like maybe going out to lunch with a friend. But if I really wanna amp this look up, I am going to put a lid luster on top. And I have tea rose and velvet. And Tea Rose, let's see, Tea Rose is considered a warm rose gold and then Velvet is a golden olive. And this is the packaging on the lid lusters. And when you open it up, it has a protective covering on it to, I think, protect from fallout because, you know, there is glitter in these things. So this just helps keep everything pressed down. And I'm gonna show you a swatch of Tea Rose. I'm gonna do that on my palm as well. So there's T-Rose, so, so beautiful. 
These are stunning. The lid lusters are just so beautiful. And then velvet is a golden olive. And you can see that beautiful golden olive color right there. Just absolutely stunning. And I think I'm gonna go ahead and use velvet because I've got the bronze color already on my lower lash line here. And I'm just gonna go ahead and pat velvet on. Just gonna do it very carefully since I've already got my mascara going. Probably should have done it before I put on my mascara, but you just have to pat ever so gently. And as far as a product like this that has such high shimmer and glitter in it, it is so easy to apply and I feel like it creates a very elegant look. It is not over the top. For somebody like me who tends to like very natural looks, I do not feel you know crazy or over the top wearing this type of an eye look. I zoomed in a little bit so you can see it a little closer. So you can see hopefully just the beautiful, beautiful shimmer and glitter of these lid lusters. All right, so now I have my hair down and I've got the second final look with the lid luster on top. So a little bit more of a evening type of look with the shimmery, lustery, glittery type of eyeshadow on top. Like I said, this is velvet and I think it is just so incredibly beautiful. So this is velvet and then this is tea rose. I do not have tea rose on my eyes today. I think maybe I have tea rose on my eyes in a previous video. So if I can find that, I will definitely link that up above. So anyway, this is my full face of Victoria Beckham. I hope you enjoyed it. And I really appreciate your patience to those of you who have been requesting this video for a while. I know it's been, I think maybe several months that I've been trying to get this done. So. Thank you so much for your patience and I really appreciate you watching this video, especially if you made it to the end. I always appreciate your time. And if you like this video, please do give me a thumbs up. And if you have not yet subscribed, I would love it if you would do so. And I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.